Hello everyone, Sapphire Lark here. Today we're going to be talking about Minotaur, Puppet Combo's 2012 horror game. The game has never exited its alpha stage of development, so it's not a huge game. I recently played it, so check it out. It'll be linked up in the right hand corner. So, let's first start off with the story. Minotaur's story starts off with our unnamed protagonist, who I'll call Nameless Woman crashes her car into the woods. With nowhere else to go, she runs through the woods, eventually coming to an abandoned building. With no other options, she heads inside, only to find an alpha version of the Driller Killer. He seems to be a mix of Nicholas Burr and the Driller Killer, with Burr's red jumpsuit and the Driller's mask. During the game, you can run around the building, looking for the key to the exit. Along the way, you can collect health and also be drilled. Once you make it out, the screen displays that you escaped. Next, we're looking at the beta. Now, I don't have any footage of the beta, but the Puppet Combo wiki page states, quote, In 2013, Puppet Combo, under the name of Pig Farmer Games at the time, was working on finishing Minotaur. The game had a brand new environment and puzzles were added. The building that the players explored was much larger, more detailed, and had many traps. Updates were shown on the official Pig Farmer Games, now defunct, website. Unfortunately, development was never completed. However, many of the concepts of Minotaur's new environments were added into Buzzsaw Bloodhouse. End quote. I think that this version of this game would have been very interesting to play, having a larger world and traps. I am disappointed that none of these concepts made it to Power Drill Massacre, but who knows? Maybe in the new full version of Power Drill Massacre, that'll be part of it. On YouTube, there is a trailer of the game from the Old Pig Farmer Productions YouTube channel. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner. It showcases some gameplay, and Nameless Woman gets drilled. Some facts about Minotaur is that in the control setting, there is a keybind for a stab action. The reasoning is that the game was made with the same code from Sanitarium Massacre, which is a lost puppet combo game. It's basically Babysitter Bloodbath, but instead of Sarah, you're Nicholas Burr. Minotaur was also using 3D Game Studio A5, which was an engine puppet combo used before Unity. And lastly, you can also buy Minotaur merchandise on Puppet Combo's website specifically a t-shirt or a hoodie. That's all for the analysis. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.